Now it's time to go back in time. And the pitch. Fly ball, center field and deep. Back goes Tottenham on the warning track. Leaps up. Did he make the catch? He did. What a play. Tottenham took a home run away from Burleson. Cubs win the ball game. We just went back in time. That was the electric play of the week presented by Chevrolet and the man responsible for it is Mike Tottenham who joins us. Mike take us through the play. Did you did you really think you had a chance like the whole time. Uh, I didn't I mean in, in all honesty I didn't really it carried a little bit more than I thought it did. So um, you know it wasn't it wasn't maybe perfect technique drifted a little bit but um, you know, when I kind of got to the wall, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, all right, like, you know, on the warning track, two and a half steps and, and jump and see what happens. But so luckily you, it came down with it. it. And... Yeah, yeah, you nailed it, Mike. Let's be honest, you nailed it. My name is Kevin Millar. I'm an 04 champ. I walked off Marnie Rivera in 2004 as a six year curse. Uh, what's your resume? Uh, let's see, uh, 2013. Missouri Valley, Bradley Braves, two and 19 in conference, uh, uh, college career ender, uh, walk off homer, Evansville University, Cal Freeland, Got home it. of the Cal so Freeland. Nice to meet you. God, you're a yeah. star. I love that right there. But I knew you were going to catch that, by the way. I knew you were going to make that play because you did it back in 2001 against this man. We have some tape, Albert Pulholtz. Uh, I'm sorry, 2021, that's what I meant to say. You were I said you were going deep walk off. But this play right here, would you have felt bad if he ended his career with 699 homers? No, I wouldn't have felt bad. But the crazy thing is, you know, like at Dodger Stadium, they put up like uh, career numbers. Like they put up everybody's career numbers on the one like right field scoreboard. And like you look at his yeah. and it's just like, like what, what is that? <laughs> like, like 11,000 at bats and like like his, it's, it's ridiculous and it's like then like I come up the next inning and it's like like 40 hits and like it's it's ridiculous so good oh, it is it's great and don't sleep on the mustache you had when you made that catch too at Dodgers team that yeah mustache legit. may yeah 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 hey um you went over to Korea and played and then um came back over the U.S. and, and back to Major League Baseball what did you learn over there that or learn about yourself that kind of helped you as you transitioned back over here to MLB yeah um, you know I think more than anything it was just kind of a it's kind of a reset for me mentally you know um, 20 and 20 2020 2021 were, were, were tough years for me and um, you know just kind of lost some confidence in myself and and over there it's really it's just you it's just you working through things you know when it's good when it's or when it's bad you're just um, you know, everybody over there was great, but you know, be just because of the language barrier and stuff, it, it's it gives you a lot of time to sort of just kind of figure things out, reset, and then I think it kind of helped uh, that I came back with just a little bit of a different perspective and a little bit of, you know, maybe kind of re you kind of had to relearn how to believe in yourself and trust what you're doing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you, you're also having some fun over there because it looks like some in-game stuff or post-game stuff. I don't know what this picture is. Is this a slip and slide? <laughs> what do we got action here? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was like All-Star Weekend. They did like a, like a relay race with like a fan and like two players and like the mascot. And there was like ladders and parachute running and balance beams. And then, yeah, somebody had to go up the wall. It was a lot harder than I thought it was. Like I didn't initially plan for the slide down, but... Um, Took a little bit more upper body strength than I thought it would getting up that thing, but um, you know they had fun with it, and that's and um, that's what baseball is about, right? Having a good time. Yes. Take me through the big win yesterday, 20 to nine. You homer. How fun was that game? I mean, it was great. You know, I think um, you know we're, we've been really um, kind of rolling as an offensive unit uh, lately, kind of, and. Um, you know, just we have so many tough at bats in our lineup, and uh, you know, I mean, Dempster will tell you when the wind's blowing out at Wrigley a little bit, it can it can get a little bit crazy out there. So, um, you know, those are days where it's like, oh man, if I could just get one in the air today, I got a shot. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. You know, and David Ross, you know, he, he spent the night here at my house and he's driven my jet skis during, you know, for the all-star break <laughs> and just all kinds of stuff. And he wears that little, like, butterfly catching hat for, like, no sunblock because he got no air, <laughs> stuff like that. How's he looking with his shirt off since the Dancing with the Stars days? Is he putting on the coach's weight or is he still looking felt? I mean, he looks strong, man. He's a he's a big cold tub guy. So you know, he's in there getting his oh, mind right in the cold yeah. tub. And we got some cold cold tubs here, man. I can't. It's too cold for me. And he's just locking it in in there every day. So you know, uh, looks he looks great. Yeah, uh, I got a picture here. Are you too young to know what this is? <laughs> 32 years yeah, old. It's like a, it's like 32 a, years old. No, that's old. like a cassette player, man. Yes, right? dude. Right? Like cassette player? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what they call I had that, that in a, is it like a tape deck or something like that? It's is a that Walkman. It's I don't know. It's walk a Walkman? Man? Okay. I thought a Walkman, I had a Walkman like CD player, but I didn't know the tape Walkman. That's good. Yeah, I like the orange that's headphones. Time stuff. Yeah. What tunes were you bumping as a child then in that Walkman? As a child, oh man, uh, I, I I like a little bit of everything. I would say though that like uh, some of that like '90s alternative stuff. No, that's a little bit before my love. time. I would say more Savage Garden. More like like some oh love Savage Garden. <laughs> a little little Matchbox Twenty, a little Hootie and the Blowfish, a little Counting Crows, <laughs> Goo Goo Dolls, nice. all of Pearl, yeah, Pearl Jam, of course. Oh my can't, God. You can't be a Cubs fan him? and not like Pearl Jam, right? Yeah, You're, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. They said he was in spring training one day. I missed it. I I don't. I was I was furious. Ryan, he'll be like, coming like through town though. You can see in. him. Pearl Jam's coming in the beginning of September. I believe the Cubbies are home because he's excited to go to games. So we'll have to make sure you guys he wants to meet him. connect then. He doesn't want to see him. I yeah. heard we had he night games. Him, Ryan. I heard we had night games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's got a day off so. in between shows. You know he'll be at Wrigley. He'll okay. be there. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, I want to meet him. Plug him with the VIP, Demp. All right, it's of that course. time of the show, Mike. It's time for Secret Samba. This is where you tell us a secret about yourself that nobody knows. So, mm. wow. what secret the do you flute, have? The flute, maybe? Um, Don't secret? be afraid, we're in the trust yeah. tree here. Yeah, did you play the flute? The uh, I mean, cello? No, I didn't play the uh, tuba. No. Tuba. Eighth wow. grade, eighth grade it. tuba player. Seriously? Because yes. that's a fact. Uh, I played the trumpet, but I had braces, and it was too small of a mouthpiece. <laughs> and I like, like cut my lips. That's a fact. So I played the tuba instead, because a bigger mouthpiece. I yeah. I want to ask one question, though. The tuba, I know in eighth grade, I got to check out my cello and my mom's car. We had this little tiny thing. I don't even know what it's called. The Ford Pinto, maybe? We couldn't even fit the thing in the thing. Who, who fit the tuba if you were allowed to take that home? I was allowed to take it home. I did not take it home. I wasn't very committed to the music scene, and I knew that was like my last year. So it just stayed in the closet at the school, and I just like yeah, just I kind of mailed off it the in, checklist honest, for those yeah. electives. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. The mouse right. was too small. Oh, oh god. that was a great secret, Mike. Uh, I feel like yes. you've got a whole lot of secrets that would probably have us in stitches, but we'll take that one for right now. But be okay. stewing on it for the next time you come on IT. Thank you so much for your time, man. We appreciate you.